Today's question is what is the difference between supervised and unsupervised learning? This is one of the easiest and fundamental questions asked in data science and machine learning interviews. So let's see the difference. So in order to understand that, first of all you should keep in mind that uh, we categorize machine learning into supervised learning, unsupervised and reinforcement learning. We also have the concept of semi-supervised learning where uh, researchers give some minimum supervision and they call that we have uh, implemented this using semi-supervised learning because we give minimal supervision. So you should keep this picture in mind and it would be helpful in understanding the difference between supervised and unsupervised learning. Now let's see the difference between supervised and unsupervised learning. So first difference, as the name says, there is supervision. So the learning uses supervision. We will see what is supervision and here there is no supervision. Then here we have labeled data. So what do we mean by labeled data? Let's say uh, we want to do object detection or object classification, this kind of experiment. Then we have uh, thousands of labeled data. For example, if you do handwritten digit recognition, then we have MNIST handwritten data set. And there we have uh, images, grayscale images of 28 cross 28 pixels. And each uh, image will have some digit, let's say seven. Similarly, another image. And uh, we label it that uh, the answer is seven in this case. We will have another image maybe this time 9 of the same dimension and the correct answer is 9. So this is image and this is the value. You can see this as X input and this is Y. So this is handwritten digit classification. So here we have lots of labeled data. This is called labeled data because we know this is the image and the corresponding answer also. So we know the input as well as output. And uh, we feed in to the model. So this is our model. This may be simple neural network. It may be a convolutional neural network or it may be even recurrent neural network. But let's say this is a neural network. And we feed in all of these X's that is all of these labeled data and we also feed the correct answer and initially the model will predict some value let's say this 9 came and it predicted 8 so uh, we know that its value is 9 so we there is a feedback mechanism uh, which we call error so the ultimate goal of the network is to minimize the error loss function so with this continuous feedback, the neural network internally will have multiple nodes and these will be connected to nodes in the next layer and all of these connections will have some weights. So with initially some weight will be there, but it will see that uh, I'm not able to predict correctly using these weights. So it will modify its weight using gradient descent So this is the loss function, which is a function of the input variables and weights. So uh, here weights will get updated because input will remain same. So weights are updated using this uh, gradient descent. This is the learning rate and ultimately the network will learn. So it had some supervision. It had the labeled data. So this is the meaning of labeled data. But in the case of unsupervised learning, there is no labeled data. 
and this we categorize into classification task for example uh, in this case we were trying to classify uh, the image into one of the 10 classes so what are the 10 classes here 0 1 2 all the way up to 9 so in this case we had 10 classes we can have binary classification also in that case we could have two classes for example uh, whether to predict given a mail is spam or not email so in this case we have binary classification so here we have discrete values so this is classification and other uh, categories regression regression we try to predict a continuous value for example uh, uh, we have some uh, past graph of stock of some company and we want to predict the future price so here price will not pick only discrete values it can take any value so uh, this uh, stock price prediction will come under regression similarly housing price prediction based on our different factors number of rooms uh, locality of the house square feet which floor it is so based on that you want to predict the price of the house so that is also a regression because there the value can take any continuous value and uh, in unsupervised learning we classify it among uh, clustering and association so clustering means uh, you are given some input data here you are not given level output so you are given just input data and you have to find some uh, relation between the data which data are closely grouped so that we will call clustering for example uh, if uh, amazon uh, shopping tries to classify uh, cluster its uh, uh, different buyers it can find out that uh, there are some buyers uh, purchasing this kind of products in this age group or in this region of the world so it can find some relation that these uh, buyers are highly related so it can cluster uh, different buyers depending on their buying pattern whereas if we take the same example similar example let's say shopping on amazon only so the association would mean a uh, relationship or a uh, correlation between different variables that is if we have a table of data x1 x2 x3 and x4 these are the different variables and let's say we have object 1 which has some value of x1 x2 some value not necessarily number then we have another data again with the four corresponding values so clustering would mean classifying different data points together like maybe one or third is highly related so clustering the data points whereas association would mean uh, that whenever x x2 takes some value then it's highly likely that x4 takes some corresponding value so it's finding the relation between different variables for example uh, on amazon if it may find that if some uh, somebody purchases back cover for a mobile phone then it's very likely that that customer also purchases tempered glass for the mobile phone and it makes sense for a screen protection so these this is association between two variables but uh, a clustering grouping the buyers in different uh, clusters or groups will come under clustering and some uh, standard clustering al algorithms are k-means clustering then some density based clustering like db scan then hierarchical clustering for example hdb scan and other others and uh, so you can see uh, what is the main aim of supervised and unsupervised learning so in supervised learning uh, it's a function f which maps x to y so here x is given 
y is given. So this is labeled data. You have to find this function f. And uh, this was the model. So this you can think of as the function, the model. So here the goal is to find the function. Here the goal is uh, to find the relation, uh, some pattern in the data. So I hope you understood the meaning of supervised and unsupervised learning and also what is the difference between these two. So see you in the next lesson.